Welcome back to Builds Not Projects this week. We're back on the mower. Um, we're gonna be building the rear support frame for the rear suspension. So uh, we'll get started building the tube. I think I wanna kinda have it come up and kinda look like, kinda like a factory lawnmower fender back end-ish. So we'll run a tube up and then figure out where our shock mounts and everything need to be. This got really complicated. So a couple different, a uh, couple different bends and uh, rotation as well, because this is angling out to get over the tire a little bit, and then to rotate it back to get the 90 degree bend there. So uh, now we'll see if I can uh, replicate it down the other side and make it line up or not. Worst case, I'll have to cut it and just re-weld it to make it the right length, but we'll see what happens. Normally we wouldn't be making a tube this complicated, but uh, Spencer's feeling real adventurous today. So we'll figure it out. This was gonna be like simple bends and stuff originally, but uh, that changed today. Yeah, I want it to look cool. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can make it look cool. So we hit the stage of regret yet? Um, I hit the stage of wish I would have remembered to put the clamp block on the correct side of the line. So uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. We may end up having a uh, couple welds in the back to make it the correct length, but I guess we'll just continue on and see what happens. We're working on setting up clamp blocks for the last two bends. We're gonna put a couple of little, uh, couple little bends back here just to kind of try to break, break up this big flat area. So, uh, yeah, this thing's coming along good. I think it's gonna fit nicely. So, uh, the last two bends were kind of a pain to fit it in the bender. Had to take the uh, roller die out of there to get it back in. I definitely could not have put any more bends in this thing. There's 10 bends now in this 10 foot section of tube. And uh, yeah, honestly, can't believe I made it work. I was a little bit skeptical when I first started that it was actually gonna turn out right and I was just gonna ruin a piece of tube, but. I think it did pretty good, so now we gotta cut the uh, front sections off and get it all tacked in place. So the uh, rear main outer portion of the frame is connected now, so I just need to go through and weld them on, so just weld it back on in the same kind of spot that I had the other one on. Uh, also I used a piece of tubing inside of these just as a sleeve to line them up better, and then I'll just plug weld those and then seam around there as well. So we're just going to go ahead and get it all welded on now.
we just got these couple of tubes bent up. Uh, just need to notch the top side and then kind of do a little bit of grinder work on this side to make it fit a little better there. But uh, I think I think these are going to look pretty sweet up in here, help support the back. And then they're also at the perfect width for the, uh, the recycled 134 tank to go in there. So it's going to look pretty sweet, I think. That'll be a nice gas tank for this thing. Kind of cool that it worked out that way. We can line them up with the edges and end up uh, doubling looking pretty sweet with the gas tank in there. We got these rear ones put in. They uh, sturdied this up pretty good. So now we're adding in a second set. Um, got those ones bent up, need to notch them. They're also gonna double as the upper shock mount for the back. And then we'll have to finish building the lower swing arm to get the lower mount there. But I wanted to get the upper mount kind of located first and then that way we can kind of get an idea where everything else needed to be on the bottom. We're gonna start mounting the seat now. Um, gonna use a couple of these little guys, hopefully maybe see if they work or not to build the uh, seat brackets. There'll be one on each side, one in the bottom. And then other than that, not too sure. We'll see how it is with those three and go from there. Well, plan one didn't work out so well. So we're uh, going to plan B here, trying out something else. So we got the uh, seat mounted up here. Um, just use a couple pieces of flat stock that is uh, very, very hard stuff. Not too sure what it is. It was just some scrap that I had laying around, but it it destroys uh, sawzall blades and hole saws very quickly. So yeah, I think the seat I think the seat isn't going to go anywhere. That that's a plus. Um, really happy with the way that this rear tube turned out. All this rear frame. Uh, next video we'll be getting the shocks mounted and all the swing arm finished up so then we can set it on its own weight and kind of see what it looks like. Uh, right now we do have it raked up a little bit in the back because as we put shocks on and everything we want it to, as you sit on it, we want it to kind of level out and sit fairly level, not do the Carolina lean. So you know that's kind of why it's raked up right now. Um, 
Thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you uh, hit the like and subscribe button if you already haven't. And also go check out our website, buildsnotprojects.com, and uh, get you some cool merch.